Hey you guys, it's Kim and you can probably hear my washing machine in the background because I'm right in front of the laundry room. But anyway, I just wanted to make this very quick video for my viewers because some of you have been um, inquiring about whether or not I like using these. Now, it'll be easier to understand what it is when I put this in it. It's the, um, the Lysol Health Touch. The No Touch hand soap refill so I get asked about these all the time whether or not I think they're a good deal um, let me say this they can be a good deal the couple that I two of them I have three I purchased two of them when they first came out and if you watch any of my couponing videos you know that whenever a company puts out an item for the first time they usually put out a really good coupon for it to get people hooked on it. So when they first came out, they had really good coupons, and then I think it was Walgreens had a really good sale on it, so I grabbed a couple of them. I only got two. I should have gotten three at the time, but I only got two. It worked out fine. I ended up getting the third one for 50 cents at a thrift store, but it didn't work. So the person that gave it away thought. So I want to give you some tips on how to make these make very good sense money-wise, okay? So what tends to happen with them, first of all, people are kind of turned off by them because once you purchase it, it comes with, the starter kit comes with this full of, oh, mine is leaking, filled with um, the cleanser, the soap. But once that's gone, you're supposed to throw this away and buy a new one. Well, you know I don't do that. But it's really hard to get this open, and if you open it too many times, it's no longer going to work because it has to fit in here perfectly. So what I'm going to do today is show you how you can refill it over and over again as many times as you need to. And I'm also going to show you what happens to it usually when it stops working and it usually happens to just about all of them okay so I'm gonna give you some tips on maintenance and getting the best uh, out of it for your dollar so hang on and I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit you know I'm not a videographer so I have to do these things and pray that I'll be able to edit it for you okay so let's go down here and I hope you can see that okay. I can barely see it myself in the view doohickey. Okay. All right. So here's what we got. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. So you have the machine. What you're going to need, I use the Dawn hand renewal to refill it and water. Now, the Dawn hand renewal for a couple of reasons. It's supposed to be good for your hands. So why not use it as a hand soap? And I can always get this very cheap. The most I would ever pay for this, I would say it's probably 74 cents. So I usually get bottles and bottles of this and I've even paid less and I've even gotten it for free. So this is really a good deal. Okay. Did I say 74 cents? No, that's not correct because the coupons are usually for 50 cents. They have it on sale for 99 cents. So I, the most I pay for it would be 40 something cents. I think I got that right. I really do have a degree in business. Can you believe it? They actually gave it to me. Uh, okay, anyway. Okay, so you're going to need that. Whatever uh, detergent you choose to refill it with. If you have something like soft soap or any of those other um, hand soaps that you want that you prefer to use, that's fine. Whatever, it works. Um, and of course, you're going to have your machine, and you're going to make sure you don't throw this away. You want to keep that, okay? Um, and what you're going to need is either a drill. I didn't use the drill this time. I used I did use the drill on another. I didn't feel like looking for the bits and I didn't feel like taking time to recharge it so I used three screwdrivers and the way I did it was what you're going to do is you're going to need to put a hole in the top and I hope you can see that where I put a hole right there and basically what I did is I took the tiny screwdriver and 
I banged a hole and I banged a little hole in there and then I took the Phillips head screwdriver can you see that do I have that in the camera and I screwed it in there to make the hole a little bit bigger and then I took the flat head screwdriver that's got a little bit of a larger head and I screwed it in there and made the hole even larger so basically all you're gonna do can you see that I can't even see where I'm showing that I hope you can see that hole okay so basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your detergent do it over the sink because it can be messy and you're just gonna squeeze it in there and I do it over the sink so I can be messy and just pour it in there really fast and what I do is half and half I do half of the Dawn hand renewal and then I put it under the faucet and I do half water and then turn it back on now let me give you a tip what happens to them almost all of the time is that after a while they stop working and then of course you think oh I need to replace the batteries then you replace the batteries and it still doesn't work well let me tell you this the batteries in these things will last a very long time it's not the batteries that's a problem what it is is there is a sensor up here that when you put your hand underneath there it um, hits the sensor and so it knows to dispense the soap the sensor gets all mucky and soaked up and it needs to be cleaned so don't throw it away if that happens just get you some regular cotton swabs the cheapest ones you can find go to the Dollar General the Dollar Tree or whatever and you're gonna wet the cotton swab a little bit and if you look under here hopefully you can see the sensor and you want to clean this entire area you'll notice that there'll be soap stuck in here where the soap comes out you can go ahead and clean that and that's the sensor right there you want to clean that off make sure there's no film no soap scum on there and then it will start working for you again perfectly so that will save you some money on refilling and also save you some money on thinking you have to replace it all right so I hope that helped answer your question about whether or not I think it's a good deal I think it's a great deal I really like them they're really convenient and I love gadgets and if you do that you'll save a lot of money so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe bye